Okay, let's see. Kablamo! Game of the year. Corpomazinga Mango. Wait, why are streamers doing this on stream? Do streamers play games? <laughs> okay, here's what I'll say. Alan Wake 2, never played it. Loved Alan Wake 1, not gonna vote for it, never played it. Baldur's Gate 3 is gonna win, so why am I wasting my time? Spider-Man 2, mid-action game Hi, where it's carried by swinging. Resident Evil 4, amazing, have yet to beat it. Been playing it off stream. Mario Wonder is the right answer. Uh, Tears of the Kingdom is fun, never played it, but I might play it on stream. Mario Wonder. Sign in to vote? Um, no. Why do I have to sign in to vote? This is like... You have Boss, to? I'm going to be late this morning. The Game Awards can track your cards, voting badges and give tax. you access to special features. Okay, uh, so Jeff Keighley can tweet for my address, so we love Jeff Keighley. I actually do like Jeff Q. He's kind of a legend. Blue Banana, thanks for the 200 bits. June Mug, thank you for the Prime Jabroni. Mario Wonder, Game of the Year. One in chat if you agree. You can make a fake email at ExpressVPN using... <laughs> Shut, up. Shut up. What's better than Mario Wonder? Um, Best game direction. Creative vision? The fuck do I know what has good creative vision? Mario Wonder. Of course Mario Wonder is going to win this category. Wait, where's the new Assassin's Creed? That has my favorite narrative. <laughs> Best narrative. Uh, all video games have bad stories. I liked Final Fantasy 16 because they added a compendium and it made the story somewhat intelligible because you can click a button and it'll tell you what the f who the fuck is talking. Best art direction? Dude, Mario Wonder by a fuck ton. What the fuck? Of course. Best score in music? Outstanding music? Hi-Fi Rush. They have that one song. Hi-Fi Rush, for sure. Wait, wasn't there that one song that you guys... Okay, here. Try not to jam. Try not to jam. Ready? I just woke up and first thing you did was open your Try not stream. to jam. Sounds like the start of a fray music. Um, <clears throat> I never knew. I never knew that anything. <laughs> that sounds like the start of that. Do you know what I'm talking about? Now this. Hi-Fi Rush. Anyone know the fray? I like the fray too. Nah, kind of mid, not gonna lie. Best audio design? I'm sorry, can I say something that might be controversial? I don't think gamers should vote. Like, well, not in the, what, what I'm trying to say is on these things. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, because here's Guys, why. I swear it gets good. People will Just have the most insane the takes parts. about audio. Like, I like the sound of the webs coming out of Spider-Man's wrists. Therefore, Spider-Man. Like, I'm not qualified to- I don't know anything about audio. Um... I'll vote, uh, Resident Evil 4 because I like when you shoot the zombies in the head. Then why are you voting? You can't silence me. BEST PERFORMANCE! Oh, shit. Wait, we kind of have to vote Idris Elba because I would love to see Idris Elba walk on stage and pretend like he understands video games. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like my favorite thing ever is when a celebrity is like, hey, everybody, love playing Mario when I was a kid. It's such an honor. And to my kids at home who are watching this, I want to say, go to bed. Sasha Malia, you're all beautiful. This is great. Love playing games since Pong. I want Idris Elba to win. I don't give a fuck about anyone else. Innovation in accessibility. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, 
I've never played with like accessibility options, so I'll vote Street Fighter 6. Mortal Kombat? Oh wait, true. The narration in Mortal Kombat was Oh wait, true. It got people so mad. Yo, can we have something more chill? I'm I'm talking to my producer. Thank you. Lewi, thank you for the prime. Hi, Jared, thanks for the 10 months. If I rush play through, maybe. A thought provoking Looking game succulent with a succulent today, Pookie Wookie. A thought provoking game with a pro social meaning or message. Um aren't games <laughs> I'm gonna say something potentially toxic. Usually games that sell their main selling Most point is that you they the have like a big impact on society. The game that just basically means the game is boring. <laughs> you know what I mean? You guys can um all you want, but none of you motherfuckers are playing any of these. <laughs> oh, if you feel so bad, then boot, boot it up right now. Oh, you can um me all you want, but all of you bozos, you're all play. We're all playing the same fucking games. Uh, obviously, I'm voting Venba. <laughs> That's it? Oh, best ongoing. Awarded to a game for outstanding development of ongoing content that evolves the player experience over time. What am I reading? A fucking job requirement? I'm gonna fill out an application here? I don't know what that means. Um, okay, so like the best updates. Fortnite! Fortnite, remember? Remember Fortnite? Final Fantasy is, uh, 15? No, 14? Actually, that's actually probably the right answer. Okay, I'll vote Final Fantasy 14 here. Best community support. That's the correct answer. Is there going to be an option for best layoff of the year? <laughs> I think I just read that on Twitter. <laughs> that's stolen. That's stolen. Hey, best independent game. For outstanding creative and technical achievement in a game made outside a traditional publisher system. Uh, I liked Viewfinder because of the funny commentary. That's what I like about Viewfinder. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't love Dave the Diver. I couldn't get into it. I couldn't get into it. I don't know why. I really wanted to. It's like my type of game, but I just couldn't get into it. <laughs> Too much dialogue? Yeah. I, I would say Viewfinder. I think it was uh, the most ambitious. Yo, Illuminanti, thanks for 200 bits. Dredge, I've never played. Dive shouldn't be in the indie category because it was made by a big studio. Best debut Work. Indian Dave game. The Diver oh, be nominated Benba. Because it's bad. For sure, Venba. Best mobile game for the best game playable on a mobile device. <laughs> Where's like Jetpack Joyride, Crossy Roads, you know what I mean? The real classics. I feel like whenever I see like a Final Fantasy on mobile, I just skip it. Because I, I think it's going to like overheat. But I did recently install the Animal Crossing game. Oh, release this year? Dude, I don't even know there's a Monster Hunter on mobile. I mean, Honkai Star Rail is just gonna win, right? Fucking weebs. Weebs all voting it up. It's just gonna win so clearly. So I'm gonna vote Hello Kitty. <laughs> Who here plays games on their phone when you have to message your girlfriend? What are you talking about? Why am I reading that one? Best VR slash AR. Is there no skip button? I I don't play VR games. I have a theory that VR is like actual dog shit. It's not going to be as popular as people think. I don't know. Maybe I'm an idiot. I just think all these companies are putting so much money into VR and AR. I don't think it's, po it's going to be popular. But maybe this will age poorly just like my hair. It's the future, old man? No, I think the unfortunate future is that games should are not going to be immersive. Like, it's not a selling point. Games are going to be like gambling that you do on your phone. Passively while you're waiting in line to, like, 
you know, at the DMV, you're going to play games. VR, it's too immersive. No one wants to sit down, put on this thing, and play a game for, like, an hour. You're going to want to... Like, look at us right now. You guys are playing games, watching a stream. You probably have, you know, OTK Network. You got so much shit going on. No one wants to be, like, fully into a game. Also, I'm scared of Resident Evil, but I'm going to vote uh, Lady Dimistriscu. I'm masturbating. Someone just wrote. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. <clears throat> Best action game. Mmm. Ooh, I should play Ghost Runner 2. It's probably gonna be Armored Core, isn't it? Um, I never played it. I have it, never touched it. I mean, it's gotta be Ghost Runner or Armored Core, right? What else? I mean, Hi-Fi Rush, is it that good? I I'll vote Armored Core, I've never played it though. But I don't want to upset Miyazaki fans. Best action adventure game. Why does this sound so low res? <clears throat> Jedi Survivor is, as the mo biggest Star Wars simp on the website, Jedi Survivor was the most disappointed I've been is in any Star Wars property. Is it true uninvited you from the Wild it's West not because it's you not... wanted to quote unquote lynch people? No. But Star Wars Jedi Survivor is not uh, finished, technically. It's not- it's still not working. Am I insane? Like, the FPS, it doesn't look good. I- it's a good game. It's disappointing to me because it's a good game that I can't get through because it's like, Oh, the FPS is slow. It stutters every two seconds. And it looks like shit to me. It looks grainy. I don't know. I li I liked the the first one, but this one's so hard for me to get into. It was smooth for me. Okay, I'm playing it on PlayStation and I bought it on PC. Refunded the PC one. I have a PS5. I played it on. Looks like shit to me. Uh, I'm gonna vote Tears of the Kingdom. I've never played it, but it's better than all these other games. Best RPG. <laughs> I forgot about Starfield, man. Jedi Survivor might not look good, but you do flirt. Yo! Thank you, Vino. Um... Starfield was not an RPG. It was bad. <laughs> it was an action game, in my opinion. It was more action. It's more Fallout 4 than Fallout 3. But I really like the environment. I did like it for like the first like three hours. And I was like, wow, I'm gonna get into so many. Literally, it's like press F to go to Mars. <laughs> um I wanna like travel, dude. What the fuck? I wanna get into my ship, sit down, fly into the air, look at the fucking star chart, fly around, and then land. I don't wanna hit F to go to my next object objective. Baldur's Gate clears. Baldur's Gate's gonna win game of the year. Alright, so let's do Final Fantasy 15. I really like Final Fantasy, or 16, excuse me. I really liked it. I really liked it. Best fighting game? For the best game design primarily around head-to-head -head combat? Dude, fucking Rivals of Ether looks so good. I played it, like, for a second. It's so fucking good. It's crazy. <laughs> It's actually so good. I'm gonna play the fuck out of that. Remember who sponsored you? Oh yeah, Mortal Kombat 1. <laughs> but more, but here's the thing. Mortal Kombat 1 wins for two reasons. The game was so fun. Reason 1, and I love Mortal Kombat. And reason 2, they paid me. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, for those two reasons... I'm voting Mortal Kombat. Sponsor me again with those good games, man. Best family for the best game appropriate for family to play. Um. Wait, was Sonic Superstars good? Sonic Superstars review. 
No. <laughs> you can tell it a Sonic game is not good when Sonic fans are like, it's not bad. Okay, um, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know because Mario Wonder with a family, like what does that even mean? I feel like party animals would be way more fun with family. Like, Wonder is more of a single-player game in every way. I tried playing co-op online with my friend, and it was horrible. Like, one of us had to be a ghost. <laughs> Party Animals is more, like, you know, it's more family fun, in my opinion. Like, 3D World was great co-op. I, I beat 100% 3D World on co-op. I thought that was great. Best Sim slash strategy? I heard City Skylines is, like, underrated. The second one. Because it came out and everyone's like, it runs bad, it's whatever. I heard it's really good. <laughs> um. Oh, but Pikmin, dude. Pikmin fucking rules. Holy shit. Wait, Pikmin easily. Best sports or racing game? Uh. I haven't really played any of these, but Forza games are so good. But the problem is they've like run out of ideas, I feel like. Like Forza Horizon was so fun. Hot Wheels is really good. Rubik has gone to the front, so I guess I am a Squex fan now. Squex, what's the deal? Yo, <laughs> what's up, man? He has? Yo, my Yoke Tort, thank you so much. Okay, Hot Wheels. I I'm gonna be leaving to for this weekend. I'll vote Hot Wheels because I like the toys. He's squeezing his shit in France. Best multiplayer. How is Mario Wonder best multiplayer? What a bad... This Nobody has played Mario Wonder online. This is like such a default take. It's not good. Multiplayer wise. I tried... I played so hard. Even co-op. It's better to play alone. Dude, the best multiplayer is F-099. Unironically. Unironically. What the fuck is Mario Wonder? Damn, Marcos. <laughs> Man, it's been a while, huh? <laughs> um, dude, in Mario Wonder, if you're, have you tried playing with your friends online? One of them is a ghost who can't interact with you. It's like, what's the point? And like, you can leave. It's like, why even play on the same thing? It doesn't make any sense. Um, I loved Party Animals. I still like it, but. Is Baldur's Gate 3 with co-op? Is there co-op in Baldur's Gate? Holy shit. Is that any good? It's amazing? Wait. I should play that with my secret girlfriend. It takes four times as long to beat. Okay, never mind. Best adaptation? Creative work? How the fuck is the Mario movie on here? <laughs> what the fuck? How did this sneak on here, man? What the fuck? It's there's if the Mario movie beats The Last of Us, that'd be hysterical. I'm gonna be honest. I think all of these are dog shit, including The Last of Us. The Last of Us reminds me of like when The Witcher came out because everyone loved it. And I was like, why is, why do people like this? No, it's so good. It's so good. I'm sitting there watching The Last of Us. As someone who's not played the game, it doesn't mean any, I love like Pedro Pascal. I think he's amazingly talented, but it's so hard to sit and watch that. It's like a middling, like if this was just like zombie, zombie show instead of Last of Us, nobody would watch it. Nobody would watch it. Not a single person would watch Zombie Show with Pedro Pascal. I, that's what I think. It's the same thing with The Witcher movie. Or The Witcher show. I saw the first season. I was like, I don't get it. I don't understand why this is so popular. I'd rather play The Witcher game. Twisted Metal, I heard, is fun. Amari movie. I agree with this guy. Some gamers should not be allowed to vote. <laughs> this bald man has bias. Bro's admitting not to be horny for Henry Cavill. Bro, the internet will find, like, any hot person who plays games and be like, Wow! 
Oh, did you hear Selena Gomez leveled in WoW? Ah! Like, just be confident in your hobby. You know, you don't need some celebrity to validate what you like. You know what I mean? You don't need, like, some hot celebrity. What we like is cool. W's Games are cool likes. without some fucking celebrity endorsement. Oh my god, Henry Cavill was late to the shoot because he was playing ga The Witcher. <laughs> He's an asshole. Twisted Metal. Because it's fun. I heard it's fun. I want my shows to be fun. Turtle Enjoyer, thanks for the 13 months. Maccus, thank you so much, and Blankiest, thank you. Mario is fun. Mario, I didn't really get into. Forever Ed, thanks for the 21 months. And hey, by the way, it's okay if we disagree. You know what I mean? That's what makes this fun. Like, I have hair, and you guys think I don't. Uh, most anticipated game. Ooh. Not me, thank you for the prime. Well, I'm gonna vote for me. I think Star Wars Outlaws. I'm excited for- I've never played Hades, so I'm sorry. I'm gonna play- I'm gonna vote Star Wars Outlaws. <laughs> Content Creator of the Year. Yo, thank you so much! I like Mares! Arcos, thanks for giving us up. <gasps> Welcome. Um... Iron Mouse. I think Iron Mouse. I don't know. I'm not familiar too much with people make games and Spreen. Cypher PK is great. Quacky's great. But I'm going to vote Iron Mouse. I love how you guys write who Megalol for like these streamers who are just way bigger than me. <laughs> I think we were talking about like this world leader once, and you guys wrote who Megalol. I was like, this is so stupid. Oh, it was during school. It was like, who's the British Prime Minister? And and then, you know, people said like Boris Johnson or whatever back in the day, and everyone said, who Megalol, who Megalol. Go back to talking about my boy Luddy Joy emoji. <laughs> oh yeah, Dr. K interviewing the Surgeon General. <laughs> It's so funny. His chat wrote, Who Megalol? This guy fucking studied his whole life to get to that position. Crazy. Mm. Lol. This would be insane for Counter-Strike to win. It just came out. Um. Air inclusive of tournament support? Uh, wasn't League? They had their big tournament. Did that do well? Uh, Dota 2 had the International. Oh, which Quinn played in? We gotta vote Dota 2! Valorant? I mean... I don't watch Valorant. I don't like Valorant, to be honest. I'm very vocal against Valorant. I'm gonna vote Dota 2. Because we have a shareholder who plays. River Zero Plus, thank you for the prime. Best esports athlete? <laughs> uh, holy shit. Arcos, thanks for introducing up to Rick Joe. <clears throat> an athlete in esports? I guess I'm kind of an esports athlete, huh? Yeah, this, this bad boy. You looking at this bad boy? This guy's a sub 51 in Mario 64. Can you believe it? <clears throat> it's gotta be Faker, right? Yo, Reckless! Thank you for the six months. Yes. Kinda has to be. It has to be Faker or Zaiwu. Yeah, I think Faker's the right answer. Even though I love Zaiwu, I think it has to be Faker for sure. Yeah, but have any of these guys even played an OTK's game day? <laughs> True. <laughs> Wait, so based. You're so right about that. Yo, Corby and Grad, thank you for the prime. Best esports team? Like, best in terms of who made the most profit? <laughs> or who's taken the most investments? Or <laughs> who's the best? Outstanding performance? I don't know, but I'm going to vote Fnatic. Best coach? Z 
Sonic. Oh my god! Wait! Potter is a Valorant coach? Potter was a main player in CS. That's that's wild. Potter's a great Counter-Strike player. Um, That's great. I didn't know that. I'm going to vote Potter. She won the whole tourney? Wait, that's amazing. Go Potter. Best esports event. Um... Okay, wait. Across single or multiple days is over the best of class experience. Evo? It's You know what's so funny? Evo consistently does a good job of making their tournament interesting. Like, there's so many legacy tournaments that have become so fucking boring. Evo brings the heat every year. It's kind of crazy. And then you look at something like AGDQ that is so bad. What? <laughs> Are they trying not to cast my votes? You have to refresh? I'm getting silenced? Did I vote for something unpopular? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, votes cast 31 out of 31. Okay, that's those are my votes. Those are my votes. What do you guys think? Based or not based? They shut you down because you voted for a woman. Ugh, they're misogynists. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> pretty based? I think I made a pretty good selection. No Lies of P? I've never played Lies of P. But I've heard it's really good. Yo, what's up? I will show Hog. Some bad takes, but I respect you as a person. I mean, what an insanely good year of gaming. Perhaps one of the best of all time. You know what I mean? Yo, Charon! Thank you for the Prime! Thank you so much. You called every game bad? No, I didn't. Just Spider-Man 2. I just didn't think it's as good as people say it is. The swinging carries that game so hard. There was controversy about Hogwarts Legacy? Um, I mean, what would that even be nominated for? <laughs> Most controversial? <laughs> Um, most pirated. <laughs> That's what it should be. Most illegally downloaded. <laughs> that would win most pirated. I think I'd vote for it for sure. For sure. Hogwarts Legacy, like, I don't, I've got it through downloading it. <laughs> in a certain way. Hey, Express VPN everybody. No. Um but uh it's not that good. It's like immersive, but I'm not really into it. I don't I don't think I'm going to finish it frankly. It's not it's like I hate games that parade around as an RPG, but they're just like action games. Elden Ring is legitimately one of the best games of all time. Elden Ring is like one of the games of our generation. Without a doubt, you can't even compare the two. Like, for real. You can't even compare it. I think. True, but cold take. Okay, I think Breath of the Wild is one of the best games of all time. How do you like that? I think Breath of the Wild was easier to get into than Tears of the Kingdom. How do you like that? I'll, I'll play Tears of the Kingdom on stream one of these days. Easily a top 10. I played the Tears of the Kingdom on a flight to LA. Mm. But I only played like four hours or something. What's your Starbucks order? Uh, I just get coffee. Just plain coffee. 
And then every time I order, the person working there is like, oh, do you want anything in it? No. Because I think their coffee is... People think it's not good, but I love Starbucks coffee. Why not make it at home? Because I like supporting my local businesses. <laughs> Opinions on iced coffee? Okay, I actually do have an opinion on iced coffee that's gonna piss you guys off. Iced coffee is way better than shitty cold brew. I think cold brew should be over. I don't like ordering an iced coffee and they make me a cold brew. Cold brew is total garbage. It's like burnt coffee. It's the most overrated trash right now. I want iced coffee. Cold brew doesn't even taste good. It doesn't taste good. You, if you, It tastes good if you put syrup and milk and all this shit in it, but cold brew on its own tastes horrible. It tastes like burnt coffee. It's not delicious. You know why nitro cold brew clears? Because they add nitrogen to it so it's easier to go down because the taste itself is bad. You can like fluff it up all you want, but at the end of the day, like it's like a comb over. At the end of the day, I'm balding. I can make it look better for a day. I can make it like this, make it like this. But at the end of the day, you can only do so much to face the reality that at the end of the day, I've got cold brew hair. You know what I mean? That's what's important. You can do all you can. You can add so much to it, but that's the truth.